Oracle. So you don't have to use your ultimate to save yourself and you're able to survive against the Klings. He pretty much solves all their problems. Like yep. he can get to the back line as well. Yeah. But he didn't follow through. So Wings trying to get aggressive and contest this safe lane until they TP their support quickly down the bottom lane. This is something that we see out of the team fight. Just don't give them an easy lane up top. And Socks and Resolution are having a very difficult time dealing with. Oh, Even that helps. Double melee. Who just got time locked on the bottom lane? Combine that with a full shoot. Then Moo's gonna go down. First blood. It goes to Wings. And on the top lane, yeah, Misery's rotating her out. Fate, so low resolution. Lola, Cold Embrace is still available. Now Misery will arrive. Ice Ice, Fire Strike is just going for the last swing, trying to find the resolution, but these Searing Arrows doing the early damage, the DC required. That arrow fly down, there she is. Resolution will find himself a kill. And all three of these heroes are very, very low. They're going to have to come in a lot of resources unless they want to suicide. Misery will spill blood to the centaur. That he will. He looks to move between Windlace and TP scroll. He'll come straight back out to the lane. Look for another rotation to fight. Wings like doing this. They like... It looks bad because they both die, but they have to expend so many resources, so much HP. Uh, Moose to be careful. They're going to go again on him. He walks over. Such a simple combo. Fortune's end. Into time. We throw it on the top lane. Now bottom lane. He has reactive armor this time around, but still no timber chain available. So Moose, poor man shield will not save you from that. He thought he was in a one-on-one -on -one situation, and then he skipped. Is that mid lane? It's the Weeha versus Blink lane. The Marana on Death Prophet. Misery smoked up behind, looking for a stun into an arrow. It's only a level one stun though, but Blink's so far out with no spirit sight. And you still got the Starfall available too. The Weeha connects on this. Now into that Starfall. The Taurus, the secondary star, it connected on Blink. So he does fall down. Well, it will be easy for Mu to deal with that if he was level six, but doesn't have the Sharkham available yet. Another heavy rotation to top three from either side. They summon resolution. Current as well. Saka, he needs to get that cold embrace off the Oracle. Has more than a match of damage. Misery with the bar strike forward. Wants the next assassin. Doesn't have the damage output, but maybe with the help of the Wyvern, he will have it. Misery to the tree line. The south is actually going to get cancelled off. It was the Corsic finale that did it. And now Faith, 28 life. Will it be enough? Is he going to pop? Faith barely survives, dropping down to 8 of 1. Really safe from there. Resolution wants to kill on top lane, however. Ice Science doesn't have anything to play with, no mana, Resolution, Searing Dance Arrows, and Strafe will take one more, and there she is. Resolution, a good answer back. And over the on the back line. Now, it is night time, so DC had no idea that he moved that way, and Weeha right next to him, starting with the Sun Fortunes, and as well the Tarn. If it wasn't that, it was going to connect with the Purifying Flames from Innocence. That's in time. They don't actually have the Fates Edict on the Oracle, so you can't disarm the... Oh, top lane, Misery. Nice Sandstorm dodge. They put down their own Sentry. Ward Cold Embrace will pull him out of the Sandstorm. It's face the end. Barra Strike. Catch the TP out. Digital Chaos. They're looking for that kill. Misery dropping down low. Fate doesn't have much to work with. He's got Stick Charges in one second. He's got that up now, and he's actually holding on to them. He won't pop, however. Not well, Shadow. Chases down the Winter Wyvern, but support comes in. It's Resolution. He's running down, looking for the kill over on Fate. Leaving Saska by himself. Hunting his own T1 tower, Shadow commits the Chrono Sphere. That won't be available, but Resolution shows himself. Time walk on cooldown. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Over the tree line and far, far away from DC's line. Behind the tower, <laughs> dropping down that Ring of Aquila to use one charges. And now they commit. It is the Exism going to work. Range the Radiant Sentry wards up, so they see we. He has to leap up to the tree line. Sex Spirit Cypher know exactly where he is. He can't get out this one. The sun will connect. An icicle one from Faith. Finding Wee in the trees. Wow, look at Wee's farm. He is so under farm. It only has point boost. Deacon Marana game coming from them getting worse and worse. Resolution coming around from behind. And the TP comes in. And they look for that damage. Resolution stunned up. The Misery brings the extra health. Fire striking forward. Well, blink for the damage is enough. Misery, the century one was still down. So the Exorcism finishes him off. Wow, they tried to kill him right before the Exorcism or an Epicenter Burrow Strike follow up. Who? A lot of trouble. Yeah, again, they're going for this combination. We know X marks and I got Dragon back, but now the ship, the rock is out of the way, and Mu gets his fill. Weeha! Radiance Park! Last long enough, that is a level 1 vendetta. Blink is in They haven't observed rewards getting any TPs on top lane, but he thinks he's safe, he thinks he's alone. Here they go! Resolution! Pop him up! And Resolution! He goes in but on time! They trigger the dust just in case. <laughs> and that invisibility right there. He might have been a little bit scared. It's like, oh, okay, next plus one can kill me. But if you don't see any heroes, there's no way you can predict that king coming. Sucks, uh, Shadow jumping in. Double Chrono, Misery. He can prep the epic. The question is going to get in range. Wyvern's already down. And now they're running closer. Misery will just walk over. Shadow's still got time walk available so we can repair all the damage that's done to him. And DC again.
Getting picked off with no rebuttal. Very patient, Chronos here for Shadow. However, they are lacking a lot of mana on the Kunkka, not enough for that boat. Yeah, without the committal of Exorcism, this is a troubling sight when you can't even hold your tier 1. Victory looking for a kill, epicenter. Uh, with a tip of the day, it's the Shark, they can miss the MP2. Innocence will walk into the side of it, but now we can just use Borgia's end. Slow down Misery, it will connect. The follow up stuff with the mana burns by Kappas. The cast is out, it holds Oracle in, and Moose comes in with a Shark from a false promise. It will keep Innocence alive as he TPs himself away to safety. Moose still looking for something, actually, he's just looking to get the hell out of here. Exorcism is triggered, but the stun is on the move, and it's going to be Wing holding the Timbersaurus position. No, the chain of the last attack from the Death Pump will find the kill. The support is arrived for DC. They arrive in with a big Deering Arrow damage. Fates makes a break for the tree line. Still alive. Triggering does too. So no way for Infants for Resolution. Time lock. Not going to be enough from Shadow. As Weeha. Cold Embrace. Resolution. The current. Oh, and the end. He walks himself out. He walks over. He was the last finishing move. He won't get it. I, I, I will finish him. The current. It may not be done yet. Sucks just set up towards the air. X marks the spot. You ain't going nowhere. Apart from down to the briny deep. Space doesn't have enough for the stun. Spy camera stuff unless he connects over from misery. He tries to raise space. No timer from Shadow. Time will forward. Now he finds the kill. More TP support arriving from DC. Another change of compromise right on the misery. Stun. Shark forward. Moody to turn the tire. This fires misery. The one time will keep him back into it. He can go for another fire strike. It's Moody. Time lost for a century. He wants to walk out to the T1 towers. No stuns available from Nick. What ungodly teamwork coming out from Wings next to that side shot. It's not over yet. Innocence is coming over the Inferno. It's on Weeha. Innocence brings the damage. Weeha. He is gonna pop like a top. They look for more. I say, say. Where is it? It's available. And support is on the way. Misery back to T1 tower. Now the X mark. So right on top of the tower. Pulls him into the turret. Innocence with the damage. The arrows are flying forward. No one's gonna get caught by it. The curse is on faith, but it's too late. From Saksa, Weeha wants to do something. Resolution's on the hillside, just watching his teammate. Luckily for him, he doesn't turn to the side. Unluckily for Saksa, X marks the spot. And once again, it starts in. Misery will not be able to get back there in time to help out. The quarter break has done next secure that Aegis, but more importantly, they need towers. Tower They'd like to see some maybe back to the morning. Weeha, Resolution. Playing stunned oh. by Carapus. Sent instantly back that star full of Weeha. Shadow, he's there. Chrono is up. Moonlight Shadow will not protect the Marana. No, yeah, now bottom there. lane because they found the Death Prophet. But Death Prophet, oh. what? She blinked away. No one attacked what? her. She just gets to out. She had the Yule Sepher as well. With the exes of up, DC was, well, hoping to kill her up before it could do with a lot of damage. Now she'll bring it back over. Bring a little bit longer left on it. Timberstar up the face. Gets the stun. Now the exes are going to work. Misery prepping the enemies and a throwing strike forward. Please going down with a ball. Drew's end. The save is huge. Resolutions. Time dilation out this fight. Sucks has the TP out. But DC, they're losing everything, including the kitchen sink. I see looking for a smoke. Oh, it's like they're trying to contest a Roshan play from Wings, but Wings aren't in there. Instead, it's Misery, who's going to get initiated on by Faith Bian. Shadow actually gets a first hit time off. Misery into the sandstorm. Fire strikes, but it's nowhere near. Fast enough. You'll end up going down to Faith time. Not being his friend, and now DC Faith is stuck armor for blinking around. Shadow to the neighborhood. A quick sentry down from the Wyvern will at least let them know if Nick Assassin wants to walk in. But Shadow initiating on the Wyvern. This is even more distraction if DC can get this ABC mortal. It leads to nice wings and extra life. Sucks is going to keep his own life up for him, but Roshan down to 3.1 now. Slowly ticking. Marana taking the top tier one tower. It's almost done. And Wings are none the wiser, DC! They're going to pull a quick one on them. Very important for them. If either that or you force a false promise on Innocence. And now, here they come, bottom lane. Innocence, they see him behind the trees. No shadows on the lane. And there goes your first one. False promise, Innocence has to use on himself. Shadow, he can time walk off the damage. Chrono is still available. And Resolution, he's actually got no man to work with. But Clinks, the damage is still enough. Thanks to False Promise, wearing on. Misery, get the hell out of top lane. The fresh blink dagger will get him away from Faith, who has a blink and 
ether lens of his own. And now the Klings can start doing what oh, does we are. Oh, Caught by Krono, starts to sign the door, actually wait for it to call it right. We have staying Stop. alive a fair amount of time, but then... Okay, exorcism committal is real. They're looking for more, and they're gonna find it. Yule sets her up, Timber hits the ground, starts with a Timber chain over, gonna take some heavy damage, and now Resolution wants to help out, but he's put himself in harm's way. In comes your representative for misery. Tomorrow's right through. He'll swallow it down, doing a little bit of damage, not enough. That card hits big on the faceless boy. Resolution's back alive, give him some space to suck up. Caught on a cliffside, his Arctic burn wore off at a very, very bad time. The Rom's wearing off. A little bit too far away as they can face the end. Rotating around, looking for an opening. Middle lane, blink, fire strike. A death drop at the hour will connect. That's a good five seconds. Innocent no. getting ripped apart by resolution. He took the false promise onto Blink, but the life just won't be there. Blink is guaranteed dead when he hits the ground from the damage, and it will happen. Blink will take the kill. Corner brace keeping misery up. Now it's for Pianto. Resolution finding a triple kill. Digital chaos have just pulled out the team fight of their life. Him. He has a very greedy build without a TP score on his inventory. about going in, he will. He'll Kurno over on Resolution. Hard to find the kill. Cold and Brace is up, so is the curse. They're teaming up, actually really, really close together. And now Blink, Fire Strike. Mystery tries to create more space. Resolution needs to wait for Ice Ice to hit the ground after Yules, and he will do so. Armor toggling his way out, but not enough. Murano is still there. The Aghanim's giving the extra damage. Not certain he wants to do it. The faceless void is on his way. Wait, 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 wait. Misery. Does he blink? Does he burrow? He'll get stunned. He'll get controlled. And he can't burrow out in time. How many bashes does this guy get? You see. Oh, resolution. This could be a good snipe. That courier went over the observer ward. It's got the rest of the assault cuirass on it. So resolution. One attack is all it needs. Three. Thousand mana bit to know up because not to fight for wings unless they pull the back. under a century resolution, but now he's not. He's back far enough, right behind Innocence. He starts attacking. Oh! Burn! And now Timber Chain forward. Move once more. Blink bar. They found Einstein. Resolution putting that chrysalis to work. They need one, maybe two hits. They'll hold him up. It's the cost. Shocker and one attack, two attack, three attack, four. Resolution Meritus. Okay, now he's finally gonna hit the deck. Yara will make a triple touch. Misery will turn with one of his own. The Tidebringer. Einstein will finally take a fall. Misery is too far out. They don't have any armor items. This can make him happy. Stocks have just blinked himself down and put down Observe Ward into the Arctic Burn. He goes inside the pit, outside the pit. Now starts to jump out. Where's the car in the back? It connects. He still can't get down. He'll call and break by himself with like some breathing space. As wings, they commit the Koko as run, they commit everything. A five second arrow will connect on Innocence, but. Well, Not with Kunker. Oh, this will be nice. Yes. They find Misery. Misery, reaction, blink up. Still got Fire Strike available. Gonna dodge even under the sentry wall. The Chrono Spear! This is the gem of DC. Resolution wants to help out. The Nyx attack is caught the end of the Chrono. He'll have to take up the false promise. Resolution gets bashed up. Even on the first hit, PKB, another bash as well. He'll run away. Where's your curse? Six seconds till it's off cooldown here for Sasuke. He has to back out. Move. In the neighborhood with the Chakra, making it difficult for Wings to come down. To kill they don't have their up. gem carrier. Next had a TP home to get some extra healing from the False Promise in order to survive. Roshan gonna respawn in two seconds, but that is his ability. ability. Scattered out by a bit beyond. Oh, oh, down the curse! Just a death prophet blinked himself over. The arrow will connect Nyx to Sassen. False Promise will keep him alive, but for how long? Redless a lot of damage in. Shadow with a time violation, trying to force him out. Move the Cold Embrace, giving him more life. You all set her up towards the end. Nyx Sassen stays alive. The False Promise did its work. So it's only Moo to die. We are. The leap, the blink, he's still up, but now he actually runs into blink. He needs more time. He'll get the star ball off the face behind it. Can't be saved by this oracle. The rest of DC are damage arriving from Wing. So Roshan at now 2k life. They're a little bit too far away here, DC. So Roshan will go down to Wing. The question is, they want to keep fighting. Sentries are down. Leap up, looking for the chrono. The leap's away, however. Timber Salt at the Yule Stash. He gets Yule Stash up. He's trying to avoid the time in the chrono. He got resolution. That's a big one. And he defines the kill. Chips on the way. And a resolution crushed on the hull. Sucks got also has to call them breaks, but there's too much damage there to still find that kill. X Mark comes back. We hunt. Thought he might get out this one. The exit and arise from misery. Minimal damage. Wing can just tank through it. Misery. Silence. Nuke. He's got enough life. He's moving north. And will it be enough while the battle happens in the pit? Misery will die. DC lose four and wings.
Oh, they wanted to be able to spam this with the Timber Salt and the Winter Wyvern, but they're nowhere close. The C3's gonna fall before they really get any damage. Yeah, now the jump comes in. Quick chain away. Uh, three blinks forward. Bar is strike. It connects to the death from the corner. We are a Shadow catches two again. The Torrent combo. They move down the wall room with a double dump from Faith. They ensure the kill. No buyback available for the Timber Saw. And Blink is still waiting for an opportunity. Resolution sitting outside the base. He has nowhere to go. Blink borrow forward. Blink takes some wears off the wall. The life kicks back into her memory. Caught out. Another double stop from Faith. The end. Jump forward from Shadow. Looking for the damage. And a time will burn to the way a triple kill for Shadow. The cast is good, however. Nixus has to be brought down. The arrow flies forward. Missed his target resolution. Needs to pump in more damage. The gem stolen by the by Shadow. As he'll run back out through the front lines. The star fall dodged by the first Manta. Took him hit by the secondary one as Clinks. Where is this control? Where is this damage? It just isn't there. The silence on Murata means he can't arrow. They see Innocent TPing out. It's commit the ulti with the Yule Scepter off. Ice Ice running circles around DZ. Miss stuns. They're gonna lose more. Move actually cronered a little bit further up. Shadow's able to find him. Support will arrive with a stun in from the next assassin. It gives Shadow the time to get the. They do not have a free wave with him, but they can start a pincer. Innocence oh. might get picked up by Resolution. Oh, can they do it? There's a ghost scepter. You can't pick off Jack yet. He can now. The the blade is up. He turns it off. The curse. It holds death properly position. Shadow jumps over. But now he's in range. But we have with the star fall. Not enough damage. That's a four star back to into Wyvern. Away from Blink. Coco's from well off the mark. And Rel Rithery is the stun there. One second, two seconds. Shadow double hit. Nice and quick. Finds the pickoff on Misery. Miracle here. Exorcism is down, however. A miracle's been eliminated. Move. There goes your shot from forward. Arrow flies in off target. Nice hit from Weeha, but a better hit from Faith Beyond. He has been godlike this game. Another big stun. Resolution. He'll finally bring down Blink. There is a spike canvas available. Resolution. No BKB charge. So he'll sum up himself. Chakram. Or you can just timber change the whirling death. Gem could be recovered as Moo. Hot on the tails of Ice Ice. Does he have the damage well? Death, one punch, there it is, Moo gets a double kill, but the damage has been done, a full raxing on mid and bottom lane done by Wings. I think it's rapier time for Klinks. I think, I think he, he needs it. Moo, this will be godlike if he can get it for the Chrono. How much life has he got? No way here or not. Shadow ripping him apart. Marana has no solution really to the... Bloodthorn. And even that, like, you get an agony set from the next assassin bottom lane. They initiate Ice Ice, they want the kill. The sun is there on Misery. It fuels it to protect Ice Ice again. Misery pulls out now. The double one. DC, they just need a bail out here, but Misery pulls back. The call to break to keep him alive a little bit longer. Fire strikes up for him as the Chrono on the back line. They found resolution. It's a big kill. Mooney to turn the damage around. It is to be ripped apart by the shot. And he will go down. The card is too late. He'll take the attention away from Wings and now every center. Misery will also jump in. Marana dies on the left. Misery, four stuff out. Shadow, hot on the tail. Remember, this is DT trying to defend when they got two lanes of Megas up. Moo has to buy back, but there's no buyback for them. Marana's going to see it. Edict. That courier has traveled. The whole, uh, he's, what is he waiting? Drop the TP, it's gone. Now the courier up on the silence. Yules will dispel. Support's coming over. It's there from the Winter Wyvern. But with the blood, will be enough. The Bloodborne Timber Saw. He's not going to pop. They force up him out. Mr. Timber Chain. They pop him. The gems on the ground. And there's no buyback. 80 seconds without the Timber Saw. CC. They're scrambling away. Soxa needs some help. Misery's there. But again with the silence. Four stars up. Nice arrow from Wyvern. Hitting Blink in the back line. They fire a strike forward. Blink is low with a splinter. It's not enough damage. Shadow the crunch here. Resolution! He walked into it. The damage is there from Shadow. Resolution is gone. And with it, maybe the host of the game. GG! Wings will take game number two. What a god on this face is boy. 20 kills, zero deaths. Perfect for those spears. Resolution strike them all in with a rapier at the end, but. No death pack, walking in a chrono, just a lot of mistakes with DC as they crumble in game number three. Yeah, that the big telling, the big story is that bottom lane missing of stun after stun. Dyer's you can see how DC the smile turns quickly upside down as wings have a flawless game and you gotta say it. It's the way you do it, non-melk style. 20 for zero <laughs> on the faceless void, the anti-melk is the